Hi everyone, I'm here with Matt Stancato Hi. with Guild Mortgage, and we are here to talk about a third quarter market update with rates, real estate, and all that great stuff. And there is a whole lot to talk about in the third quarter. Uh, we had a lot of big news, uh, not only with uh, homes being put on the market, so the inventory, but also with potential changes to the rates happening in the third quarter. So there is a lot to go over. Okay, super. One of the Achilles heels of this market mm -hmm. has been inventory and rates. So mm -hmm. can you share with everyone a little bit about that, what we're seeing? Well, sure. Everyone knows, of course, that we're short inventory. And so the popular wisdom said that we were going to have to wait until rates came down in order for uh, inventory to start to increase. Mm -hmm. That's not what we've seen, however. We've actually seen an increase in inventory and and a resulting increase in contracts and settlements over the past month or month and a half uh, without seeing the interest rates significantly lowered. And the reason for that is that we're seeing, first of all, people pursuing alternatives such as, you know, things that aren't generally on the market or mm -hmm. uh, converted commercial properties, things like that. Um, but the other thing that we're seeing is that we're inventory is increasing because people are seeing that uh, the increases in value, the appreciation of their properties that they've seen is not going away. Again, the conventional wisdom about this market said that we were supposed to see an increase in value last year, and then we were supposed to give 10 or 20% of that back, similar to the housing bubbles and bursts that we've seen from years past. That did not and is not happening. In fact, the low inventory has served to increase prices by the laws of supply and demand. So even though that's been working against us, it's been, it's been pushing people towards putting their houses on the market because they say to themselves, well, okay, Yes, next time I go and get a, a mortgage, I, it might be at 7.5% until I get to refinance, and that would be unfortunate. But if I don't put my house in the market right now, I'm giving away one hundred and fifty, two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars $300,000 of equity. And people, uh, especially in the upper price ranges, are making the decision to put that on the market. Mm -hmm. Great. And not only that, you know, there's options. People, if they're on the fence about making a decision, they are moving into a rental for right now, mm -hmm. but exiting, taking that gained um, dollar amount that they've seen that appreciation on their home and, and grabbing that at, at this time. Mm -hmm. So it is a, it's always a good time to sell and to buy, right? Of course it is. The other thing that the other part of the equation, of course, is rates and rates were going to stay high until we so, showed sufficient slowing of the economy that the Fed didn't feel a need to raise the prime rate anymore um, or the interbank offered rate anymore. What we've seen is that at this coming Fed meeting, so the end of this month, we are likely, so about 90% chance to see one more quarter hike in the Fed rate. After that, however, the following meeting only has about a 30% chance of seeing that hike in the Fed rate. All of the economic data that we're seeing is pointing towards the economy beginning to slow and chasing that soft landing as they have, uh, probably only one more rate rise is going to be what we're gonna see. So uh, at that point, rates will follow suit and come down. And at the end of this quarter, at the beginning of the winter quarter, uh, as we predicted about fall of this year, we should see this thing start to come together and unravel a bit. Super. Well, I, for one, am so excited about our end of summer fall market. Just put a couple of homes under contract this week. We have a couple new listings coming. So it's a great time. You all give us a call. Um, we'll connect you with Matthews and Guild. And we are looking so forward to a robust fall market. Thanks so much. Matthews and uh, happy August everyone mm -hmm. end of summer and we'll see you soon. Looking forward to working with you. Get those kids back to school. Take good care.